Hi, this is Karen Lambert with Loving Rochester. I'm here today with Nate Taylor. Nate is an actor, a model, and a poet. Hi, Nate. How are you? How are you doing, Karen? I am doing well, thank you. So, Nate, tell me, you were recently in a movie. Yes, I was. The People's Champ. Mm -hmm. And it was filmed in Syracuse, is that correct? Yeah, Syracuse, New York. Yep. And can you tell me a little bit about the premise of the movie? Who were you in it? Uh, basically, the movie, it's a boxing drama. Uh, it's basically about this boxer who ends up going to prison for a crime he didn't commit. And he comes out of prison, uh, whatever, X amount of years later, and gets into a boxing program and starts boxing and becomes like the champion of basically Syracuse. I play a character named Mel Backus, who's like, I'm kind of like a, a Mayweather character. You know, I'm arrogant and, you know, I think I'm like the top or whatever. And the, bo the, the thing about the movie is that the movie is like set in a, in a place where it's like the inner city. So I'm the champion or I think I'm the champion of that inner city. Right. And Mel and not Mel, but uh, CJ, who's the main character, is coming up in that inner city. And I challenge him to a fight. Because, you know, I see he's coming up in the ranks. I'm already there. You know, I'm, he, I feel like he's opposition, opposition to you me. You're getting nervous, huh? Right. Yeah. Pretty, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you could say that. <laughs> and so basically, I challenge to a fight, and, you know, it goes on from there. Uh, what's deep about the movie is that the main character who plays CJ mm -hmm. and the guy who played his mentor as actually died in real life. Oh, really? They, they died while pretty much filming, during filming, actually. Oh, no. So the movie's dedicated to them. Oh, wow. Tell me a little bit about how, you, how did you get started? And, you know, were you young modeling or no, tell me your history well, a little bit. Well, as far as like my start, I started out doing poetry. Okay. Uh, I was doing poetry. I started poetry seven years ago. I got really popular. Started performing in Rochester, uh, New York, Syracuse, everywhere. And basically kind of just led into me doing, into, led into the passion of, of acting, I should say. Okay. Um, in my poetry, I would do a lot of improv. Yes. So a lot of people would be like, oh my God, you're pretty good with doing improv. Like, you know, with your poetry, combine it together. You should think about doing acting. At the time, I wasn't really thinking like that. But right. It just led into it slowly but surely. The modeling uh, came, it's just a part of the acting. You know, you start doing um, acting and then, you know, people take pictures of you mm -hmm. and it just leads into you doing a little bit of modeling. One of the things I've noticed is you have Nate Taylor, AKA the gift. Right. So where does the gift come from? Uh, the gift derives from my first name, Nate, which in Hebrew means the gift that God's given. Okay, so basically when I started up doing poetry, uh, I was like really nervous on stage and at the time my girlfriend at the time uh, Was telling me, you know, you should get like this alter ego. You should get like this, you know, this other alias or whatever okay. yep. And I had all these crazy like poetry names like super black poet and all this crazy stuff or whatever Nothing that really fit. <clears throat> would you so, wear a cape with super black poet? Mm, I thought about it, you know, as a gimmick But <laughs> no, I don't think that that would work very well But um, what I did was I and I prayed about it you know, I, one day I was like, I'm getting so popular, you know, but I was like getting nervous every time I was getting on stage. Right. So I like prayed about it. And this like, um, I don't know, vision came of, came to me of my grandmother, my grandmother, who was like my heart. She mm -hmm. died years ago of, of uh, diabetes. She um, named me Nate, Nathaniel, whatever. Um, and I remember one day uh, I was really frustrated. I remember, uh, you know, her like grabbed me up, put me on her lap. And she was like, don't worry, baby. You know, to me, you always be Nathaniel. You always be Nathaniel. So I don't know just that my name Nathaniel, Nate, whatever, kept popping in my head, and I like researched it in like in a you know name yep, book, yep. and I seen it said the gift that God's given, so hence the name, you okay. know, the gift. So, so would you say that you have a gift besides just being a gift? I think I have a gift of 
I think as far as poetry, I think I have a gift of words, the gift of gab. I mean, I'm really good with writing words. I mean, like far as like you give me any topic, I can write about it, you know, and I'm always a think outside the box type of person. So I think that's helped me, too, with acting. I think it's helped me like, you know, with my with being natural on, you know, in, uh, in front of the camera, being natural on stage. Mm -hmm. So I watched one of your performances and you really got into it. I was very impressed. What are you looking to accomplish with your either modeling or acting you know, in the next five years? I want to. Well, my goal is to be a professional working actor. Um, I um, I'm going to school in New York City this this fall. I'm going to the acting studio. Nice. Um, so I'm really excited about that. It's a one year conservatory. Well, thank you, Nate, for joining us here at Loving Rochester. No problem. We appreciate you coming out. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. All right. This is Karen Lambert with Loving Rochester. We'll see you next time.